Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an AC protection device. With this device, we can protect our AC devices. So this is a useful project. I hope you will enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well, subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. So these are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to 5 full pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect LM358IC and connect its pin number 4 to ground and its pin number 8 to 5 full pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its 1 pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a current transformer and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 4.7k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2.2k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 5 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 5 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the previous 470k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the previous 470k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the previous 470k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the previous 470k resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470k resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of the previous 470k resistor and its other pin to neutral of the AC supply. After that, I'm gonna connect LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5V pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino, its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D3 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D4 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to D5 pin of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. 
After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number two of the transistor and its other pin to D2 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its other coil pin to pin number one of the transistor and its common terminal to line of the AC supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a two pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to neutral of the AC supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5V pin of Arduino and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.